Okay, so here I'll just show you how I connected to the computer. To get into the Hikari menu, you have to hold the volume down while powering up the device from an off state, or if you restart your switch, you can hold down the volume as it's restarting. And then you would go to tools, USB tools, and SD card, and then you would hook up your cable, and then it pops up on the computer. Now, since I did that, uh, it's waiting and I'll have to time out. So I'll force it by just hooking this up. All right, so now we're back to the PC. So I use Chrome. So first off, this is the pack I use. I am Fire, uh, Dominator Soul. I know there's some other people who's worked on it, Dex and our other people. Um, this is all in one. That pretty much shows you how to modify your switch. I'm not going into all those details today in this video. I'm just trying to help you out. I'll leave the link to this in the description. So essentially, we need the Tesla overlay in this app. So I'm gonna provide you with this link. You're gonna download the copy to SD card. And then you'll come over here. This is the Fizzoli app that allows you, Fizua, that allows you to adjust the color. You want to download that as well. All right. All right. So I'm going to go to my downloads where I downloaded it all. You don't actually need to extract any of these because these are already in the correct order and the location they need to be. So you just open up the copy SD card, click both folders. Make sure you drag it to the root. All right. It may ask you to replace files. So place those files. And you want to come back over to this one. This is the Fizuli app. The other one has the Tesla overlay. You're going to copy these right back there and replace it may not even say this for you but I already have everything preloaded on my SD card after that want to check your device yeah you can just unplug it all right we'll swap back to the uh oh that's gone and now it'll give me the option Maybe. Pfft. Of course. It froze. It didn't like how fast I did that. Anyways, let's go back in. All right, and then you want to reboot. Normally, I have mine set to auto load to CFW on device memory. Since this needs to charge, I'll hook it up. All right, I won't go into it. Anyways, I want to give a shout out to my boy uh, Dominator Soul and I Am Fire. They are the creators and producers of certain GitHub repositories. I'm Fire handles Switchway and Dominator helps along with him and he creates his all-in-one packs. I'll link it as well. It'll have the Tesla overlay installed plus some additional add-ons like uh, Spiria, which is pretty dope. It's this whole new way of navigating, but they're pretty cool people. All right. So in order to access my Tesla overlay, I hit ZRZL down. I'm gonna go over to the Fazilia, or however you say it. So these are all default settings. As you can see, everything looks very vibrant. So let's check out Zelda. That's a good game. I would like to see what my settings are here all right so yeah i'm overclocked all right 
I'm gonna turn off the sound. All right. I just lewd my save. Well, as you can see, this already looks fabulous. Let me uh, adjust the contrast. All right. So everything's butter smooth and looks great. I don't think the colors need to be adjusted here. This isn't really a dark game per se to adjust. All the colors look great. Everything looks very well. I am running at 60 FPS. A little overclocking can do that for you. Essentially though, we can open the app again by holding the button combination down. We can come in here and now we can play with colors. Like let's say you wanted to make this a little bit more saturated. You can come up here. We'll do that and you can apply it. And now it's more saturated. Or you can turn the saturation back down and go the opposite if you feel like it's too saturated. To me that looks a little that's probably closer to sRGB than anything. And then you want to come to gamma. If you have black crush, you can bump the gamma up. Obviously it's going to mess with the colors, but it's going to kill the black crushing around the borders when you're playing very dark games. I don't necessarily think I have really a dark game. We can check out Tony Hawk and see if it has one. Essentially here, the blacks aren't, I still have my color profile active for the actual, um, it does it for the overall. There are certain ones that allow you, um, repositories and plugins that allow you to do it per game base, but this app does it overall, as far as I know. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the color profile already enabled. And then that's without it. We can come back in here and reapply it. If you look closely, you'll notice that the edges here are all very dark. But when you bump the gamma up, it can come out. You can bump it up to that a little bit more and it gets rid of it. There's also luminance, which adjusts brightness, and there's contrast, and you can play with that. So yeah, that's how you do that. All right, thank you. Okay, now, essentially, you should be able to go to hit ZRZL down on the D-pad, and it pulls up your Tesla overlay along with the app. And I've went over the settings already, but essentially, there's also one other thing to consider. I just thought about this. This is also, based on time of day um, the app so at night it might have better different colors for your eyes and that could just you might think your switch is broken when it's not so you got to come in and actually go to the app i'm gonna zoom in a little give you all a little bit more looking all right and you want to you have a handheld and a dot profile I don't, I just leave it all on the same profile and apply it. And then I come over to colors. I come and put it back at 6,500. Make sure everything, all these are default. So you can change them to whatever you like when you set it up playing with the overlay inside the game. And then you can come over here and do this as well. This way it's always automatic. And see at night it changes the luminance. You want to get that back down to what it is. Everything else looks good. I mean, you can come in here and manually adjust all that. That's just, I'm good. I don't want to mess with all that. 
And that is a wrap as far as colors. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you.